welcome to Knit One. Heart, Heart two. two. Episode 56. Yay. And I don't remember now what the season two episode would be, so I guess three. we're done with that. Episode three. three. Episode three. I don't know. I, I've lost track. Maybe four. I don't know. I'm Sheila, also known as Sheila D37. And I'm Wendy, also known as Penny Winnie on Ravelry, Penny Winnie 2 on Spark People, and Penny Winnie 2 on Draw Something. Which comes up as Jane, Jane S. S. Please don't be confused. I have an anonymous and account. I, I'm <laughs> Sheila D37 on Draw, Draw Something, not Draw People. Yes, and I just, as a public service announcement on Draw Something, <laughs> I would like to tell people two things. Number one. Um, I am currently playing about 40 games at the same time, so it may take me some time to get to yours. <laughs> so if you're wondering why I'm not getting to it, it's because right now it takes me about an hour and a half to get through all the games that takes, I play. I'm running about 25. Or, no, it's got to be about 30 now, so it takes me about an hour. <laughs> um, oh. I try and hit them in the morning when I can, a little at a time, and I do them when I'm working. Yeah, I try to do them in the evening. So there may be some days that you get two. And some days, you get not one. at all. Well, no, you get one. At least I try. And the to get other one. public service announcement I have, besides to let you know that Jane S. is in fact me, it is my anonymous um, Facebook account. And the reason I have an anonymous Facebook account is because I used to work in law enforcement, and it's really not a good plan to have your real Facebook account out there when there are people like that looking for you. Yeah, no. um, but there is a thing that can happen. And it happened to me. Oh, that's and right. And my account did it to somebody else. And Amy E., I think it is. Amy E., I'm sorry that I deleted your game. I don't even think I did it because I don't want to play with you. I did it because your game was making my Draw Something program fail. And it turned out that my game with somebody else was making their program fail. And I, that's how I found out it wasn't just, like, some random thing. And the only way to fix it was to either keep rebooting my, t my phone... Ooh. Every time it froze, or to delete your game. So, if Amy E, if you're out there, please feel free to do another game with me. And if I delete you suddenly for no apparent reason, that's probably why. So, um, yeah. But I've been having a lot of fun. Some people can draw really well, and some people, I have to say, draw very badly. <laughs> they just I do. have my moments. Some days, some way, um, times I'll take the time and effort. Other times I just draw a black outline. It's like, why did I even bother getting the colors? I, I have just to tell black. you, I think it was, um, oh, now I can't think of her name. I think her name is Lisa. Oh, the lady from, she comes on Knit Night. You know who you are. You live in Massachusetts, and you were on Virtual Knit Night last week along with Pat. Is that Lisa? I, I think so. Um, she had the word line. <laughs> okay. So the screen comes on, and this black line draws across, and then nothing happens. And I'm sitting there waiting and waiting and waiting. I'm like, what's going on? And I was like, oh, line. <laughs> well, for anyone who had been friends with me the other day, something happened with my draw something, because I would be picking a word, and I'd draw it. But then by the time I went to send it, and it said, oh, we just sent your picture of, I would be, I drew, drew Spock. I drew a really good one. We just sent your picture of Elmo to Jane Doe. I'm like, what? That happened to me five times. It must be a program thing. It must thing. have been a program thing. So I apologize. Um, I don't know what happened. Yeah, Somebody person... wrote back to me saying, please tell me how that was Elmo. And I'm like, it wasn't. So then I'm explaining, get this, I'm explaining to her how, how it wasn't Elmo. And I forgot to draw something. That's another thing. Every once in a while, I'll write a note to you, and then I'll accidentally forget to send you the real picture. Sorry about that. I did that to Sarah. Um, <laughs> oh, and also... Email, or eat my oxygen, um, and I sent her a PM. I said, just so you know, the word is this. <laughs> so I don't know about anyone else. I like to have my numbers stay at the high level. Like, I think we're running on 90-something right now. I, I, I It only goes to 99 because oh, me and Half-Baked Knitwit, hi, Half-Baked, we have gone, we've blown past 99, but it just keeps saying 99, uh -oh. 99. Because it doesn't um, expect you to be that long. I don't think it expects you to go that long. We've had a really good run. Also, people, I am bad at flags, so don't, <laughs> do not try to tell me, <laughs> don't do a drawing of a country where I have to guess the flag because I will inevitably be unable to figure it out no matter how well you draw it. I'm just, this is a public service announcement. That's funny. Anyway, we have 827 members on the Ravelry group this Yay. week. Very excited. And, um... I don't have show notes this week. I'm sorry. I worked a double shift. I'm going on no sleep right now. Yes. She's um, already had one appointment this morning. Yeah, I had an IEP for my son. 
And he had his three-year evaluation, which means it was almost a two-hour meeting. Yeah, that's tough. And the poor kid didn't test well. But he... That's but okay. it, his scores were low, but it does not mean by any way. It does not reflect his actual no, ability. No, it's just because uh, of his hearing issues. Bizarrely, uh, they don't design standardized well, testing for people who have hearing and... Um, medical issues? Medical issues. <laughs> but oh, it's yeah. funny because every time they said he scored low on this, and surprisingly, he scored high on this, which most of my kids score low on. I'm like, yeah, that would be Zach. <laughs> yeah, because... <laughs> He's got to do things he backwards. He does everything backwards. So um, today we are drawing for the neck knit along. Yes, and we will do that in our gossip and innuendo yeah. section. And uh, as of right now, we have no plans for another knit We do. We don't know what. And it won't start until May. Yeah, we need a break from knit alongs. The, uh, the, the knit along. Yeah, we have like two weeks break. And then well, we'll because we're out. also giving prizes next week for the marathon. Today's yeah. the last week to last enter week. for the marathon contest, which I'll discuss That's later. That's going to be fun. Um, and Monday is the actual marathon. I will lock the thread. I think you can donate it for a while, but I will lock. There is no thread to lock. Um, <laughs> I'm thinking I'll lock the thread. Uh, let me just state that as of Wednesday of next week, when we'll most likely record, we will draw Nate prizes for the people who donated. If you donate after next Wednesday, you will no longer be concerned. Yes, I mean, you can we have still to stop donate by all point. means. Yeah, please. Um, but. So this is, you got one more week for that. And um, I think that's all I got from memory. I have no one to say thank you, except for everybody. But yeah. Uh, no specific people. Okay. I'm trying to think what else I know. Shout outs, this no. time. Shout outs is the only other thing that we do. Um, so on the dance card, and I think you go first. Do I go first? I only have one thing on the dance card this week. Me too. And it's <laughs> Wendy's, I have two. Wendy's Sock. Which and is it's coming out so pretty. Lotus Flower sock. Yes, I had to change the name to Lotus Flower because who knew? Um, There's a Lotus Flower. I don't have the pattern with me, so I apologize. And I haven't actually started the pattern yet. But it, the sock is coming out. I'm really using great. Socks at Rocks medium weight in the Jingle Bell colorway, which is, you know, it's funny. In, in my work, it didn't look so bright, but boy, does that look great. I love it, though. Because I kept looking at it saying it doesn't look very Christmassy, but I must have been in a very poor light because, yes, it looks very Christmassy. Yes, it's More pretty. pinks than I'd say red. Yeah, but the pink doesn't really show up well in this lighting. No, for some reason your lighting's very orangey today. I think it's oh, you know why? Because, because we, we don't didn't have turn the on the overhead. Lighting. It's yeah. right over there by the fish tank. Alright, hold on for one minute, Pardon please. me <laughs> while I there we go. Yeah. That'll even it out a little bit. That's a lot better. Yeah, let's try this. Yeah, it's still a little orangey. Oh, but, but it's a little bit better. So um I just did the toe I'll probably do maybe another inch before I start the pattern. She doesn't want the um, blossoms close to her toe. Well, because I, um, of where I wear my shoes. I know. It doesn't... Um, I can't feel them when I wear them, but maybe you'll be different. I don't feel anything from them. Yeah, I like stitch. it. I don't know. I just My toes get really cold, so if I can have them up to here before I have any holy... Yeah. Holy there. Holy than now. I'm using uh, needles, Chow Goo needles. They're the one... One and a half... One and a half, two point five millimeters that Melody sent me, and I thank you again, Melody. These are actually the forty inch cord, which I typically don't excuse me do. I do thirty two inch. <laughs> I'm sorry, but there was too much white space over our hands. I usually do thirty two inch, but you know, I was gifted these, so I will take what I am gifted. And actually, I don't mind these because the cord, the reason I don't like the 40 inch is because the cord gets in my way. But because this is a stiff enough cord, it's it not getting in my way. It stays out of the way. Yeah. I like it. So um, I'm doing these again on one and a half, medium weight, and I like the color. Pretty. I like it too. So, so, so that's it for yours. That's all I got. Um, I have two things. exciting. The first thing is I finally finished um, all the stuff that I needed to do for my Charlotte design. This is the Franken. <laughs> <laughs> sample that I am working from. It's not actually going to have this strange shape. But um, I was going to do it, I said, in my um, hand spun yarn. And I think this pattern would look really pretty in hand spun yarn. But I think for the purpose of having a sample, I wanted it in a semi-solid. So I went online to my favorite dyer, um, String Theory Hand Dyed in Maine, and I ordered a skein of their caper sock in the Rose Matter colorway. And it's gorgeous. Mm. It is on its way here. So as soon as that arrives, I will be casting on for the sample. Um, and once the sample is... Um, 
once I get to the once I get past the halfway point, I'll um, be able to have it ready for test knitting. I just need to um, get to the decrease side a little bit more before I do that. So um, I have a few people that uh, signed up to test knit for me, and I'll contact you to see if you're still interested when I'm ready. So that there's that. I worked on that quite a bit this week. I My kids had a concert last night, and I worked on it during the concert. And then the second thing that I have on the needles this week is the Creature Comforts Cardigan by Madeline Tosh. It's a pattern available for $6 on Ravelry that was gifted to me by Whimsical Rain, who is real name is Adrian. Thank you very much. I love the pattern. Um, I've made a, I've already made a pattern change. <laughs> a lot of, what happens is you knit a big rectangle and then fold it on itself right. um, and seam it to, you know, to make like, it's kind of like a giant rectangle with armholes. Um, a lot of people said that they didn't like the way it looked with the knit on um, ribbing, so they recommended doing a provisional cast on, so seaming the whole piece together and then picking up the provisional, undoing the provisional cast on and just picking it up and knitting the ribbing in around. It gives it a little more structure and you don't have to seam the ribbing, you know, it just looks cleaner. So right. I, I did that and I followed, Sheila told me about this way to crochet the um, provisional cast on directly onto the needle and then knit from it and that worked like a charm. Yeah. I'm totally going to use that from now on anytime I have to do a giant provisional cast on. It is so easy and um, you just, it looks like knitting. When you get done it looks like you did a, um, a regular cast on. Yeah. It's great and apparently it unzips really easily. I followed the tip from the um, video that we watched and I put a knot in the end that I finished with so, so that, that I know, know which, which one to unzip. Yeah. And um, I'm knitting it in the Madeline Tosh Vintage Byzantine colorway. And I'm about almost halfway through the first chart. And you can see one of the um, little oak leaves already showing. That's the pattern section of it. And this is how it looks. Plain stockinette. Plain stockinette. This colorway is so pretty. It is pretty. I love it. Um, I'm really enjoying it. It's it's a lot of people complained about the miles of stocking out, but I kind of like it. Um, I'm still I'm I'm a lot better this week than I was last week. I feel great. Um, I'm only taking one pain medication one time a day in the evening, so I'm I take um, ibuprofen the rest of the time, and I hardly even need that. I have very little pain now. Um, but I'm still exhausted. I probably look a little exhausted. <laughs> um, so it's hard to get around. I'm walking around the house without crutches and everything, but it wears me out. So it's nice to have this because I have miles to go, and then I do like 25 stitches of the pattern. Um, and it just, it's just, it's nice. Um, it keeps it from getting boring. Right. And um, oh, it's, it's really pretty. I know. I just love it. I'm so happy with this color choice. This would have been a great jacket, by the way, to be a bed jacket. It's like a shawl. Literally, it's like a shawl with arms. Mm. With sleeves, and it would now have been nice. Now that's considered hand dyed, correct? Yes. Now you don't have to alternate skeins. I'm not going to bother to alternate skeins. But they do recommend it. They or? do recommend it. Okay. I just ask. I don't care if it has a stripe in it because I'm not picky that way. That's the natural look of the yarn, and I'm good with that. Yeah, um, I kind of laugh at that because you're picky in other ways. I know, but <laughs> but when it comes to dye lots, it doesn't. I mean, I guess if it was like. A plain sweater like that, like this, that's supposed to be just plain, and it had a front. And if there was a stripe that went like right across my um. boots or something, it might bother me. But I'm not disturbed by it. So anyway, yeah, I love this vintage. I almost bought a little bit more of it when I was at the yarn store with my mom and my friend yesterday, but I didn't because I really don't need any more yarn. So that's it for my. I only have those two things. I didn't work on the hexagon blanket this week. Okay, off to finished rate your date. Yeah, I have two rate your dates. I am wearing one. It is called. That I'm came out so cute. Purple. Yeah, I call it the purple beauty, but it's called the beginner keyhole scarf by Kate Klemp. I did it on US size eight. It took I'd say about a half a skein of the diabolical worsted weight superwash and I'm your huckleberry, and there's 218 yards and a skein. I don't even think it maybe took a half. Yeah. But it's just one simple, it's a free pattern. It's one simple little bind-off cast on. No, I have not blocked it. 
Um, I, I was wondering, like, it'll be a little flatter when you do. Yeah, it will stretch out. I'll probably stretch it out to like this. Yeah. Um, but it's really nice and soft and fits perfect. I like perfect. this yarn a lot. I love this I'd yarn. love to make a sweater out of that yarn. Yes, this yarn would be gorgeous to make a it's sweater so, out of. So it's so squishy. So squishy and soft. This is a size 8 needle. but um, the color way better. It's really pretty. That's pretty true to it. Yeah, I loved catching the pops of purple with more muted colors of purple. It was really fun to knit with. Yeah, the scarf it. itself was very simple. I think it's maybe 25 stitches, maybe a little more. Um, I've come to realize I don't like doing scarfs so much. Like shawls I don't mind because you're purling for a long time that you get into a rhythm. This one you purled, oh I gotta switch back to, I don't know. But it fits nice. Once it's blocked it will fit really nice around the neck and it's a great little, you know, coat scarf. Yeah, I you think can make it great. as long as you want but this is what I did Per pattern, 25 inches. That'd make a great gift, a quick Christmas knit. Yeah, because really, put your mind to it, it took me no time at all yeah. to do this. And um, it's really a nice thing, and what's great about it is it's one of those little scarves that won't fly off every time you take right. your coat off. See? I mean, yeah, let me lean. Yeah, actually, you can see it now when I lean forward. It's really, really pretty. It's secure. I like it a lot. It'll probably go in the pile because you know me. Yeah, I know. But I have enough to make another one. Or use that yarn somewhere else. That's cool. So that is one finished object, and um, it's really nice and soft, and keeps you nice and warm. And I love this, Rachel, because a lot of wool. I'm itching my neck. I don't even think about it. It's no, really that's nice really. Soft. I would love to get. I was actually on Diabolical's website. Were you? I was on a couple of websites. I was looking for um, when I was looking for a yarn to do my sample in. I was going to try something new, but I couldn't, you know, a lot of those places you have to catch an update, so I knew that I could get what I wanted at strength. I finished my socks. This is the Toe Up Socks with the Difference by Wendy Johnson. They're not exactly alike. I screwed something up on the heel, but that's okay. They're fine by me. Um, and I did the opposite for the striping, and it's funny to see how they turned out. So, um... This is my first one I did, and I started with the blue. I worked from the the same ball but center pole and I work from the white on this one and the gradation starts at the different locations I mean granted I'm using the different sides of the ball but this has more yellow in it yeah. in the foot this doesn't but once you get to the top it looks pretty much the same I know. Um, except for obviously the cut cuff but I really love this I did this on size one needles, which is US 2.25, 72 stitches because I knit tight and I wanted a nice tight fabric. And I love them. They're not blocked and they won't get blocked. They'll probably get worn in a couple of days. Depending They're on, on my other. bunny my bunny sock yeah, blockers. Yeah, her bunny sock blockers. I borrowed them. So um, this is the Gypsy Girl Creations Transition Yarn. 400 yards were 200 for each and I had like a walnut size nugget for both. Uh, Viola Bouquet. It's a blue-green transitions. I got this at Rhinebeck on the fold. On the fold. I really like it. It's a nice. Soft I know. Yarn. I like it. I like how pretty that it knit up too. And I think they're fun. You can see when you can't see it here, but you can. You can't see my stripe jogs, but you can. See, you really? You can a little a bit. A little bit, but what you can see more. You can't really see the stripe, but you can see the bump where I pull the. I pull it probably a little too tight, yeah. <laughs> but it doesn't make that much of a difference. So I like these. I love them, and I'll have to hide them from my son. Yeah, he'll probably he'll try steal to them. sneak them away. Yeah, from him. he will. That's um, all I got. I have one finished project. I finished the textural healing shawlette, although I haven't woven the ends in. Um, this is a pattern by Shannon Squire. Um, it's six dollars on Ravelry, and it was kindly gifted to me by Candy. And um, I did it in Madeline Tosh sock in the Garden Party colorway. I love that. It's so pretty. And you can see it's all about the textures. The bottom section is seed stitch, the middle section is stockinette, and the top is garter. And it has a pico bind off and eyelet um, transitions. And it's just really, a, it was a really good. This is a good recovery project if you're feeling sick or if you just want to do mindless knitting. It's really good because it's simple, but the, the variations in the sections make it not be too boring. The only thing I'm disappointed about is it it's not very long this way. And I um, this is the large size, but I think some of the length that would wrap around your neck got eaten up by the fact that it um, kind of is shaped like this. Now, the one thing that this is great for is if you wear it 
like this, it's not going to fall off because it um, wraps around and sits on your shoulders well because of the shape. If you wear it like this, which I do, you don't have a lot of end to come around the front. Um, I mean, I usually fold mine under here. I don't think it would fall off you, but I would have liked it to be just a tad longer. The great thing about this pattern is it would be very easy to modify it to be a bigger size by just adding rows to the sections. Um, I, I, it called, I used all but this much of my yarn. And Madeline Tasha, I think, is 392 yards. So um, it does eat yarn. You'd probably need to use two skeins if you wanted it to get much bigger than the Lara side in the pattern. But um, it was a good, it was good. I liked it. It was a relaxing knit. It reminded me that colors. I love these colors. This is definitely a keeper one. And the only thing that it reminded me is I hate doing a knit Pico <laughs> bind off. <laughs> and this one was not even the regular knit Pico bind off. It was one so that it was like a longer pico and a shorter pico and a longer pico. So I had to, oh, I kept right. like, I screwed up several times. But the great thing about this scarf, I screwed up several times all over it, but you can't, it, tell. You can't tell. It's just like the best project ever. So if you're looking for something like that and you need some textural healing, um, do that. Warning though, that song, Sexual Healing, will be stuck in your head for mm -hmm. the whole time that you do it. But that's, this is it. I blocked it last night. Um, and that's all I have on Rate My Date. Okay. Whirlwind, whirlwind Romance. Nothing, but I am going to ask my physical therapist if I'm allowed to use my spinning wheel. I forgot to ask the surgeon. I went to the surgeon on Monday. I forgot to ask. Uh -huh. So nothing on Whirlwind Romances. Future dates. I got nothing. Well, I have this, and this is the only thing I have in the needles. Um, I'm not sure what it's going to be like when I get into the pattern, if I'm going to need something more mindless or not. It, that pattern is pretty simple. It's tricky until you know how to do the um, until you know how to do the thing, and then it's easy. So what I am planning to cast on is I gotta find him first. <sighs> Jerry the Musical Monkey. I love Jerry the Musical Monkey. Apparently, oh here he is. That's why I couldn't find him. He wasn't in alphabetical order by Jerry. <laughs> He's by the Danger Craft. So, Jerry the Musical Monkey by Rebecca Danger. Um, it's available on Ravelry or um, on her um, Etsy shop. I believe it's six dollars. He's so cute. So that's what I'm going to cast on. Um, I'm going to use this as the body, which is summer socks. It's a striping colorway and does it have a name? No, it doesn't. The it, you know oh so creative five five four. I I really. I understand that it's probably easier for inventory if you use a number, but I like it when people name their colorways. I call it like primary color stripes or something. Yeah, I like that a lot. And uh, I'm going to use just a plain old brown for the mouth, the hands, and the ears. He's going to be super cute. I, I love Jerry be. the Musical Monkey. So that's what I'm going to... I smell like lavender. Uh, that's what I'm going to cast on uh, as well as these socks. And then after this, hopefully a shawl. Oh, yeah. It shouldn't take too long. Mine should be done by then. You can, you can, <laughs> you can test. Well, I have a specific one, but yeah, um, I'm gonna use. If I'm not testing it in yours, I'm gonna do the zany shawl. Oh yeah, that's right. You told me about that. Uh, in my Legitessa colorway from Warm Eyes. Cool. Which will hopefully be for me. I hope so. You need to keep something. Um, yeah. So I have no future dates right now because I am gonna be working on the sweater and the test knit the Charlotte for the test net for a while so um what about crushes and heartbreaks uh, my only crushes and heartbreaks i'm going to mention again for the marathon contest i have a thread up with the pictures of the prizes um and also melissa melia bella from his and her podcast and keegan lane yarns is donating a bump of fiber and a skein of yarn for the prizes last time i checked he was just shy of 400 Four hundred um, dollars of his goal. Wow! And um, we've gotten—I haven't checked, but we've gotten about fifteen hundred dollars or more from knitting knitter viewers alone. So I appreciate that. Yeah. And I want to say thank you to Diane and um, Jack Girl, who is Katie. Diana Knitables and Katie of uh, Jack 
knitting on the fly, sorry, for <laughs> mentioning the uh, the charity. And uh, Katie was getting all the clumped, and she the was getting me the clumped. So right now he's five hundred and five thousand five hundred and sixteen dollars, and he's his goal is to raise six hundred dollars. So six thousand. That's great. He's probably so gonna make it. Yeah, uh, and he runs on Monday, and we're gonna meet him. We're gonna see him on Saturday for a reception, and I will bring my camera to give yeah, a picture. take pictures. That'll be fun. Um, and where we get to make. I was gonna bring the shirt that we they give us to wear to support, and I'll wear it on Monday. After that, I'd probably be making some bags, maybe to give to you guys. And I was looking at it. I got an extra large for me, and it's like this big. I'm like, oh, I could probably make a few bags out of that one. Um, but so any $5 you donate will get you entered into the general yarn drawing. Um, any uh, If you donate $25 or more, it will get you into the drawing for the wool mice. And you can check out the prizes on thread in the group. Yeah, I posted a separate thread. Which so. is right over here. If you want to Ravelry, go to the group yes. on Ravelry, you can click that button. I'll take you right there. So, so yeah, it's um, he's doing really great. Oh, wow. Looks like a lot of people. I've been keeping... I don't have... Do I have it here? So this is how, just so you guys know what I'm going to do, just to give you an idea. I've been keeping a log of who has been donating it. So you can't really see the names. But what I've done is I put numbers. Oh, for each person. You for each person. Number. And then I put how many, like how many chances of wool mice you get. Yeah. And how many chances of yarn. So what I'll do is, so the person who's number 26, they donated $25. They'll get one chance of wool mice and five chances of the regular. So I'll put the number 26 in five times into a hat. Yeah, that's great. In separate hats. One for one mines, one for. So we've gotten, as of last night, we've gotten 30 people who donated. And it looks like we've got 10 more since. I don't know, I haven't. Trying to. Because he's got other people. Oh, no, one, two, four more. So he's got other people donating as well. Obviously. And you've had like 34 people donate. Yeah. Wow, that's great. Thank that you, great. everybody. So, um, again, I'll link, the, well, the thread has the link to it, but it's ooh, howtohelp.childrenshospital.org, Boston Marathon, backslash page, backslash, Paul hyphen, C-H-E-R-C-H-I-A dot H-T-M-L. And H -T -M -L. there will be a link in the show notes. Yeah. There's a link in the thread. And in and the, the link thread, in the... which you can find. By clicking on that yeah. button to go to the group. <laughs> and uh, is that all? I think that's all I wanted to say for crushes um, and heartbreaks. My, that's enough. My crushes and heartbreaks are all the well wishers and Lois in particular, and you know why? Lois, um, I got a special order bag from her that I ordered, and she sent something for my mom. I don't know what it is yet, but it was oh. a little extra there. Which, Lois is so sweet. She is sweet. Knitting is my bag for those of you who want to get a cute bag like this. Order from Lois. And if you don't see any bags in her store, you can do special orders with her. She's great. So I'm excited. I can't wait to get that. Um, I also got a beautiful handmade card in the mail. Hope this brightens your day. And I'm, I, I'm a scrapbooker, so I love these things. And this is from Suzanne. And she says, um, hope your recovery goes quickly. Love the podcast. You are both awesome ladies. Oh, thank you. So thank you, Suzanne. I appreciate it. And, and we, we also, also got a card from... Um, Kelly, which is Kira Kitty, she won the canvas bag in our last knit along. I think so. That was our last knit along. No, that no, that was our um. Oh, that was anniversary. our anniversary. <coughs> That's right. <coughs> and so she sent us a little thank you note. Yeah. Don't and, let your mom steal your bag. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she said she won't take the bag to her mom's house because it's one of her favorite shades of purple. And, so her mom will take it from her. Um, thank you. It thank was you a very so nice much. We love getting mail. You gave us mail is fun. It is fun. It is fun to get. So and I have other bottles and bling on the way, but none of it has arrived. Well, I'm still for waiting show. for my I love Fred yarn. But I think that you ordered the fancy. I ordered base, the right? cashmere base, but I haven't gotten any word, and I thought she was dyeing it up according to her threads. So if anyone knows anything about the I love Fred yarn, which was through the proverbial knitter, we ordered the yarn. Ten dollars went to the animal shelter. Um, just get, let me know because 
Yeah, um, mine shipped on Monday and is scheduled to arrive tomorrow. And um, I also bought a cane <laughs> that I can use. I bought it in pink. And it is arriving tomorrow as well. And guess where I ordered it, everyone? On Amazon. Because you can order anything in the world on Amazon.com. Um, My yes. mom ordered something. i got to show you this. Yeah, My mom has say, bubbles we gotta, and bling. we got to show that bag. <laughs> I'm sending her to go get it. <laughs> I don't know why my mom ordered this, but it is the coolest thing ever. It is a chicken bag. A chicken bag. That's like a plasticky material, but that's the chicken butt. And there's chicken this butt. little face, and his eyes are evil and red. And um, yeah, it comes also, you can buy a, a coin matching coin purse. That was from Amazon. Amazon.com to people. <laughs> Isn't there a show that says chicken butt? I don't know what, but chicken What's butt. What's up, chicken, chicken butt? butt? Something, something like something, that. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> but uh, I also have a loop bat on order that I'm waiting for for the um, completely twisted and arbitrary spin along for this month. Um, the theme is kaleidoscope, and I, my loop bat is going to be gorgeous. I can't wait to get it. I know that she's working on them right now. I have my um, Into the World Club coming up. Uh, there's been no announcement about it's Dyer's Choice this month, so I don't know. Yeah, the only thing I have. Oh is wait, no, it's not. It's Firefly this month. Is that right? I think it's Firefly this month. So I don't know what the theme is going to be. I just have my I love Fred yarn that I'm waiting for patiently, or not so patiently. <laughs> and my bag from Lois is going to be here tomorrow too. I think. So yeah, I got nothing else. Next coming. week there'll be plenty of bubbles and bling. Um, gossip and innuendo. Oh, I just want to apologize. I haven't been on the interwebs lately. I've been just caught up in reading. It's sometimes you just need to escape. Yeah. And reading does that for me. And um, sometimes I can knit and read and sometimes I can't, depending on what I'm reading or rereading. Because I do that a lot. I reread. And when I'm rereading, I'm turning the pages quicker than I read because yeah. I'm not really reading the whole. You're just skimming. And uh, so I haven't been on the interwebs as much. So I apologize. I just, my knitting mojo is kind of at a standstill. Yeah. And I've been, well, I'm tired, so I haven't been on well, as much Well, that's what either. it is, too. It's like we've had a lot of stress. <laughs> a lot going on for both it of is, us right both now. It is. <laughs> with uh, my little guy and my big guy. The insurance thing and the surgery so, and uh, me. And... I will get back on to the interwebs. I feel bad. Plurk has not been visited very much lately. Yeah. But. Um, I have a new thing that I came up with for this for this section that I'm going to do occasionally just because things have been going on. I <laughs> call it good things I learned from knee surgery so far because um, I'm trying to at this point trying to look at the positive side of it I mean I have to be oh I have to show my souvenir hold on one second I got a souvenir what a picture yes when I went to the surgeon on Monday he wait gave before me... you show it if anyone gets oh, squeamish I'm not gonna show the gross parts I just will... in case just in case if anyone gets squeamish <laughs> You might want to fast forward in a few minutes. As a parting gift until my next appointment, he gave me the photographs. I won't show them up close of my arthroscopy. This is all normal stuff going on in my knee. I won't show this part because it's gross, but you can see that is the hole that was left by my ACL. Nice. And that is what a normal ACL looks like. I was missing that hole. Wow. Yeah. It's really bad. Like, it was really messed up. Um, so I have this. I don't know, put it in my scrapbook. <laughs> I'll scrap that at the next scrapping meeting. <laughs> I, I, he showed it to my husband when I was in recovery. And Jim's like, yeah, it was, I couldn't believe how bad it looked. And like there was, it's kind of like when you take yarn and you rip it like that and you get the fraying. That's what happened inside my knee. And, and Jim was like, I thought it would be more like if a razor cut through it, like it was thicker. But um, the bands of it are more like thread. So there's like an explosion in my knee. And then when they show the replacement, it's all nice and neat. But um, everything's going well. I have my second PT appointment tomorrow. And um, I'm able to walk around in my house without my brace or crutches. And I can walk outside with one crutch or a cane, which is why I ordered a cane, with the brace on. And uh, my pain is, is relatively gone now, so. That's good. Um, I do have a little bit at night at the end of the day from walking around, but even that's not so bad. So I'm hoping 
in a couple of days I won't even have to take any pain meds at all except for the occasional ibuprofen get the swelling down. yeah yeah um, and I'm starting to get the shape of my knee back. I showed Sheila because I'm really excited about it. <laughs> like, yeah, but you can see where my kneecap is again. <laughs> Before it was just like a mass. Now it's all good. Um, but I have good things I learned from knee surgery so far. Um, and the biggest one is that every cloud has a silver lining. The bad side of it, I can't walk normally. Um, I can't that drive, that, right? you know. But the bright side is, last night we had a concert at my kids' school, and I got to sit in the handicap section in the front of the auditorium. Um, the lights from the stage lit up the area so I could knit the entire time, and I could see my kid. I had my own little private seating area, and I can get a um, handicap placard until I'm able to walk normally, um, which is great because you can do... It, it, they really do serve people who have a disability, even if it's a temporary disability. So that was a positive side. Um, also, I don't have to drive, so I can knit all the time. <laughs> I'm going to Maine this weekend with my mom, and she's going to drive, and I'm going to knit. I never get to do that because I always drive. My husband doesn't like to drive, so that's really exciting. And I don't have to grocery shop. I don't mind grocery shop. <laughs> so those are some positive things. Um, the second thing is that three days is a long time to go without a shower. If you're bedridden, <laughs> 24-7. And I'm not, that's all I'm going to say about that, but that was gross. Um, it's also a really wonderful and a blessing to be able to pee by yourself with no assistance. <laughs> I don't really, I don't think people realize how great that is until they have to have somebody hoisting them off the toilet. Um, I am a rock star at straightening my leg. Um, when I went to physical therapy, everyone raved at how well I could straighten my leg out to the point where they invited other physical therapists <laughs> to come and witness the miracle of me straightening my leg only six days after surgery. Apparently that's a big deal. Mine just straightens. Bending? Not so good. Straightening? I'm awesome at They're like, you don't have to work on the straightening. I'm like, okay. I won't. So, you know, hey, I am, like, famous at the PT place for how well my, I can straighten my leg. Good. Um, if you buy Vera Wang pajamas in charcoal gray, you can wear the pajama bottoms out in public, and no one will ever know. <laughs> and these pajamas, by the way, are available at Kohl's for your purchase, and I might even be wearing them right now. <laughs> Yeah, they look like sweatpants. They look like sweatpants. Um, and number six, playing 40 draw something games simultaneously means you will spend about an hour and a half of drawing them every time you play. Let me just tell you, that hour <laughs> goes by quick, too. Oh, I know. When I have to um, wait for anything, I try to do like two or three at a time. And then at night when I'm like winding down in bed, I'll do like all of them in one fell swoop. I don't know about any of you guys who are on draw something. I don't watch you guessing my sometimes I will to see how quickly you get it. Yeah, I never but watch yeah, it. I I'm zoom like, past that. Skip. If I watch that, it would take me like three hours oh, I know. to go through the whole thing. And I was I was drawing one last night. I was really disappointed. I can't remember who I was playing with, but they didn't guess my Andy Warhol drawing, which I thought was so awesome. Oh, you told me about that. Um, yeah, Draw Something has been really good. Also, Netflix. I am very grateful for Netflix. I am watching all of the Law and Orders starting with season one. I got ten seasons to get through. Yikes. So, um, when I'm, when I'm in icing my leg or doing anything, I'm watching Law and Order. This is a fast show. Yeah. Um, I already have a steak on this. What did you do? I didn't read the pattern. I didn't know it was supposed to be up to 66 stitches. <laughs> what did you do? 64. You're going to need to go two more stitches yeah, or gonna, it won't work it out. It will, gonna, will come out wrong. I'm going to rip back. Sorry about that. No, yeah. that's not your fault. It's like what not even like section one. <laughs> Increasing for the toe. <laughs> Since I'm like, I'm reading it, I'm like 66, son of a gun. <laughs> Now, I could just increase two more now. I would just increase two more now. That's what I would do. It's not like it's going to make a difference. Well, the other thing now I'm starting to think about is maybe using a different sock. Because this is medium weight, 64, as big as it is. It's big as it is on the medium weight, 66. I know it's only two stitches, but it It draws in a bit, though. It. Yeah. I don't think you're going to be disappointed with it. Um, I, I think that's probably a good weight. I know that Sadie, or... Um, uh -huh. From um, Yarnivore yeah. used medium weight socks at Rock. Yeah, but she may be a different knitter than I am. 
Well, that's true. But it does draw in. That's why I think with you being a tight knitter, it's probably going to be fine. So I'm, I'm increasing right now. All right. See, there you go. You took care of it. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Am I forgetting anything? I don't know. Um, yeah, everybody, so. thank you so much for entertaining me while I was. Oh, by the way, um, this the message is for Melissa, Amelia Bella. Could you help a sick girl out by, I don't know, like throwing me a podcast to watch while I'm hanging around? <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> well, no, she's training for the. Uh, I know she's three training. Day walk. It only takes, what did we do? It only takes 40 minutes and 52 seconds to record an episode. I can vouch for that. I know she's Melissa, training. Melissa, if you want me to hit her, let me know and I'll be more than happy <laughs> I, to hit her I keep checking. This. I'm watching all my regulars, but I keep checking that one, hoping that they put something up and they never She'd do. She'd lurk it. I'd let you know. I know. Well, I probably. I watch it enough. Yeah, I haven't been watching hardly any right now because I've been in my book. I have not watched any from for a week now. I haven't watched any since I had <clears> my <throat> surgery except for... Um, dramatic knits I did. and I didn't watch all of your guys two episodes because I was too tired to watch more than a few minutes <laughs> I haven't watched Stephen Kelly at this apparently week. all I can do is watch Law and Order episode season one <laughs> that's all I can watch I and that I fall asleep during that I think the last episode I watched was Diane Knittables I haven't watched anything else oh. I haven't watched Knit and Wolf I haven't watched Knit oh yeah Knit, Knit and Wolf I want to mention this I've been using the Knit and Wolf lotion I bought it like Last fall. Yeah. Um, that stuff is awesome. The I lavender. Use the, I, well, I like the lavender scent, but she does a million scents. But I've totally been using I have the big, big bottle. I bought the big bottle um, because my skin is really dry after. I yeah, it's been really dry here. We've got um, fire warnings to the point where I went grocery shopping yesterday. Anything I touch, zap, zap. I'm like, oh, my cart, zap. I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> okay, that's a you thing because I haven't been, have oh, you been having anything? that problem. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I guess I just must be Well, because you're not you touching touch. anything. Well, except my crutches. You're yeah. Right. So. We forgot to do something today. We forgot to announce the winners of the <laughs> neck knit along. Yes. Sorry. And we realized that. 30 or more minutes after we While I was processing the film. <laughs> so we had already drawn the, drawn the random number generator. We had 11 through 350 posts. That was not all the picture posts. But it was all the posts where um, people had posted finished objects. Finished objects. That's the job. So the first prize <laughs> we're giving away is a pattern of your choice. Just PM us. What is the... Um, any pattern. Any pattern. With it up to ten dollars. Up to ten dollars. And we'll uh, give that to you. And the winner of that was post number one twelve. Her Ravelry name is Yarn Makes Me Happy, Lisa, and she made a beautiful hitchhiker, which yep. is still on Gorgeous. my queue. I would like to do a hitchhiker. Me too. I think with knitting samurai's modifications, where she did the sawtooth edge on the on oh, the bind side. off on the bind off, yeah, it came out really nice. And our second prize is a skein of Cascade Heritage sock yarn, hand painted sock yarn, really soft and squishy, seventy five percent super wash merino and twenty five percent merino. Uh, yeah, nylon. Sorry, that didn't sound good. And the most creative color name of ninety nine twenty six. But it's a a purpley navy blue and a red, I think. There you go. That's a pretty accurate representation of the color. And the winner of that one was post 147, which was Dingle Daisy. She made a Her Bermuda. real name is Eloise. <laughs> she made a Bermuda scarf. Eloise, PM us, and we will send this on you on its way. And Lisa, also PM us with the pattern or patterns that you want to order up to $10. $10. On that note, if you're watching us on iTunes, please leave at least a star rating or a comment for any of the people, podcasts you watch. Uh, we really do appreciate them. We do. Show notes will be found at knit1heart2.blogspot.com. Any contact information you want is above me. So. Above Sheila. Yeah, above me. And to my nose. <laughs> <laughs> and if you want to donate or join our group, any information is over by me. So thank you for watching us. Oh, if you're a new viewer, thanks for checking us out and yep. lasting this long. If you're a continuing viewer, thanks for, thanks coming, for coming back, back. each week. We'll and see we'll you see you next, next week. Knit with heart. Knit with heart. Bye, everybody. Bye.